Guys, it is another day where Gypsy Rose is once again getting talked about. Of course, she has found herself in some more drama after going on a recent podcast and talking about her life. She's talking about her mom, her baby. She's talking about her divorce. It is a whole thing. So we're going to spill on everything that has been said. Now, now, before we get into the tea, I want to talk to you guys about something nostalgic. Let's go down memory lane for a second and remember some of the old classic games we know and love, like bingo. But what if I told you there was a whole new way to enjoy it? Which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, a game that I have been having a lot of fun with, Bingo Showdown. It's not your average bingo, trust me. Bingo Showdown brings all the excitement of live bingo, but with a twist. Think Wild Wild West vibes, competitive tournaments, and a lot of action. You're playing alongside 70,000 real players. So the competition is real and it's on 24 seven. And the best part, it's totally free to play. Over 95% of players don't spend a dime, but for those who want to unlock extra content, there's that option too. Plus the game has this super fun lead character, Sadie, who adds a whole nother level of charm to the game. Whether you're new to bingo or a seasoned pro, Bingo Showdown makes it easy to dive in and enjoy. So saddle up, join Sadie in the wildest west, and see if you have what it takes to beat the competition. Click the link in the description to download Bingo Showdown right now, and let's see if you can make it to diamond tier. Once again, check out the link in the description and thank you to bingo showdown for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the news gypsy has not been getting the best reaction from this podcast with nick vile on the vile files the comments are flooded with backlash clocking gypsy for things in this interview accusing her of getting facts wrong and lying about the timeline of events in her life it's truly so messy but she was talking about it all in this podcast the last time she was on nick's podcast she was still with her husband ryan and Anderson and the two of them did the episode together and this time she was sitting down with Ken and she's now pregnant with his baby so there was a lot that Nick wanted to talk about since so much has happened since they last saw each other. Gypsy was asked about Ryan and she said they don't really talk in that it's not in the best interest for them to. She tried to have a civil conversation with Ryan about everything just to get closure but she claimed that she was in a place of higher healing than he was. I mean honestly I have been trying trying to have a very civil conversation with Ryan about everything because we don't communicate often. And I think that I really just wanted to have that, you know, closure, that one conversation that kind of closed everything up. And I, you know, we had that. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm in a, a, a place of a higher healing and um, an elevated healing than he is right now. And so I've kept my distance, um, hoping that he could find that happiness and that healing for himself. What I want for him is to find his happiness in whatever form that is. And I encourage that. I have no ill will towards him at all. I wish him the very best. But any communication right now is just not in the best interest of our healing. And Ryan recently went on live and did talk about this particular quote from Gypsy, finding the whole thing ridiculous and calling her out for saying this because she had someone to move on with. Just for the record, the higher healing thing, I did see that quote. That's a bunch of BS. Just number one, of course you're in higher healing. You ran, you healed in the arms of another. Yeah, of course you healed faster. You, you, you healed in the arms of another. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, you filled that void immediately. I was gone, that void was there. Bang. And of course you think you're in a place of higher healing. No, you're not. No, you're not. It's funny, because you're not. People also called Gypsy out in the comments of Nick's podcast because of the fact that Ryan has said that Gypsy has reached out to him since being with Ken and based on conversations claimed that they would be together right now if she wasn't pregnant with Ken's baby. I think, honestly, honestly, do I think if Gypsy wasn't pregnant, would we have seen each other again recently? Probably, probably. Like, especially around July, around her birthday or whatever. Do I think we would have seen each other? Yeah, we probably would have. But 
The situation is the way it is, guys. Ryan going on TikTok Live was brought up on Nick's podcast, and Gypsy says that it is weird to see him talk about her on there and that she chooses not to do the same. And it's got to be hard to get on social media and see someone you were married to mm -hmm. talking about your relationship to a bunch of strangers. It's got to it just be... It is difficult because I really, I don't talk about it. Um, like, I'll go on TikTok and... I'll do my lives and stuff, but I just really don't want to talk about it. Yeah, makes it, it makes sense. And Even though they certainly have had their back and forths in the past on TikTok Live and Ken and Ryan as well have gone back and forth. I mean, Ryan has even called out Ken for not having a job before, which actually got addressed on the podcast. Ken explained his work life situation since getting back together with Gypsy, saying that he left his home and his career to come and live near her and currently bartends. I was living in a house. I had a full time job that I had been at for over two years. Um, and I realized that, well, you know, it's time to time to move. You know, I, I need to be in in Louisiana to be as close to her as possible to get her, to, you know, so we can be together to get through this process. You know, I don't want to just leave her alone mm -hmm. to to handle a first time pregnancy. I left my job. I, I had to break my lease and I packed all my stuff and I moved to New Orleans to start a new life here. And um, and I've been happy ever since. I mean, I, yeah, the the parole is a little bit tricky, you know. So we like like she said, we can't live together. And you're, you're like you're legally not allowed to. Legally not allowed to. Um, How long are you um, on parole for? Um, until June of next year. Okay. Okay. And there's no long. exceptions for the fact that you're having children together. There's no exception no. for that. What um, if you got? And not to add yep. any pressure, but I can stay at her house whenever, whenever I want. Okay. Um, but you know, if if I'm working, it doesn't you know it doesn't really work out that well. Yeah. What are you doing for work? Bartending. Okay. Yeah. Um. And uh. And 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 the show, of course, which is also like in its right, a full time job. The whole thing is just a crazy mess, especially when people were clocking Gypsy when she was talking about when she reconnected with Ken. On the podcast, she said they reconnected after she filed for divorce, which we all know isn't exactly true as we saw how things played out on the show and she most definitely was in talks with Ken while she was still with Ryan, which is why she ended up leaving Ryan. I ended the, the marriage, uh, filed for divorce, and then that's when Ken and I reconnected after the fact. Um, as friends, we had a weekend together to see kind of where are we with this. Now I'm guessing she means that's when they reconnected in person for the first time, but they had already been communicating once Gypsy's stepmom, Christy, told Gypsy that Ken reached out to her to explain why he broke up with Gypsy in the first place, which Gypsy thought that it was because he couldn't handle the media attention that she was getting once people started to hear more about her case. And he said it was actually because people were telling him he needed to let her grow and experience life on her own. And so he wanted to give her that time to do so. And of course, you guys, Ryan is not going to settle for people thinking that Gypsy ended their relationship in any other way than him getting screwed over. And literally when he was on live, did a poll over whether or not she was using him or not. You think Gypsy used me? Red, yes, blue, no. Do you think she honestly used me? Red, yes, blue, no. You don't think her feelings for me are genuine at all? You vote red. Like, no feelings whatsoever. Really? A lot of y'all voted red on that one. And that's something right there. She totally used me. That's what people say. That's what people say. People always tell Ryan that he needs to just stop when it comes to Gypsy, but he claims he wasn't blasting her and he wasn't saying anything bad, although I think a lot of people clearly disagree. I love all you people telling me to move on and stuff like that. Y'all do know that that was my wife, right? Blasting her? How am I blasting her? I haven't said one mean thing about her, like, ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly. Even though he literally did a poll asking people if she's really pregnant based on the photos that she's posted recently. From, y'all yeah, actually seen Gypsy's photos, right? Like, does she look pregnant? Do y'all think she's really pregnant? Red, yes, blue, no. Kind of curious. Do y'all think she's really pregnant? Red, yes, blue, no. Guys, she's pregnant. <laughs> Like to be doing a poll like that, he obviously knows what he's doing. He's stirring the pot. He's talking about her and it's not in a positive way. I'll say that. 
I mean, he defends her sometimes, but he definitely does say things that will bring her hate. And I mean, in their relationship, I do think that you know, what happened at the end there was definitely not right in that, you know, she seemed to want to be with Ken all along and she just so happened to be with Ryan. But for Ryan to drag the whole thing out on TikTok Live, it's definitely giving like he's hanging on to this attention that he's getting from talking about her. Like truly people watch to see if he's going to start some sort of drama and he almost usually always is talking about her. And I think he knows that if he didn't talk about her, then people wouldn't really watch. And so that's why he keeps doing it, even though he claims he doesn't want to be. But with Gypsy on Nick's podcast, there were some things that she also wanted to address that were not about Ryan, but were things that people have been speculating over, like what is going to happen when the baby arrives, because her and Ken are not allowed to live together right now. If they were married, then they could, but they're not married and she's still going through a divorce with Ryan and is on parole and can only legally live with her parents right now. So that makes things hard when thinking about bringing a baby into the picture. And it was something that they were openly discussing. Um, more about the technical things. So I am still living um, with my parents in Cutoff, which is an hour away from him. So we're like, and I'm going to be living there until I'm off of parole. So we're like, okay, how is this going to work whenever the baby's born? Like, how many days could I spend with you? And how many days can you spend with me? You know, who will she be with? Um, as you know, we're going back and forth and we're doing kind of essentially co-parenting even though we are wow. together. Um, but are you restricted, like in terms of your parole, what mm -hmm. are your restrictions that you have to abide by? The standard. I mean, there's basically just standard ones, um, you know, travel permissions and stuff like that. So my current residence is established with my parents. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of those things. So um, having that restriction in particular um, poses an issue. Um, and so that is, a, you know, something that we had talked about extensively. And also, I mean, this is a new relationship in a sense, even though we have a history behind our relationship and a foundation, we're just getting back together after a five year separation. She also was talking about how she would talk to her future child about her past and her grandmother one day. Like when she is of the right age to understand we are going to sit her down together. And also with my dad and Christy, you know, we'll, we have that support there. And we're going to explain things in a way that's not overwhelming, but enough to where she understands where my life was at at that time. And how did I get there? Because obviously I didn't get there overnight. So um, with that being said, with love and care and consideration, I mean, we have a long time to prepare for that. Uh, to know what words need to be said. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, that why, that's why it was so important for me to also write my story in a memoir because she could read it for herself. So, I mean, there has been questions on social media. Everybody asks the question, you know, what are you going to tell your daughter whenever grandma isn't around? And I said, I, my response to them is that Christy has become more of a mother to me than my own mother was. So Christy is going to be grandma. Um, and so that question really won't be a pest in our face. People obviously had a lot of things to say hearing Gypsy talk about her mother. And there were just overall a ton of comments being made on everything that was said on this podcast. Not just that. I mean, but I want to know what you guys think about all of this from what Gypsy said about Ryan and her to what Ryan had to say on live about her being in a place of higher healing. I want to know what you guys think about all of this because it does not seem to end. You would think that we would be in a place where there was nothing left to talk about anymore, but still they're going back and forth. They're shading each other. It's still messy all this time later. And I don't think that it's going to stop anytime soon, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. And once again, check out the link in the description and thank you to Bingo Showdown for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.